Hi, how are you? In this video we will be looking at some key medical writing skills. These skills are essential for you to develop if you would like to venture into medical writing profession, either with an organization or as a freelancer. So you want to be a medical writer. What are the skills required for carrying out medical writing tasks? Let's look at some key attributes of a medical writer. Your writing should be objective, meaning it should be based on facts, there is a very less scope for personal opinions and interpretations. You should be having reviewing and editing skills, we have to remember that not all writers can do good editing or reviewing. A knowledge of drug development process is essential for a medical writer. Specifically for writers with non-scientific background, or academic writers, it is important to gain a working knowledge of drug development process. This can range from preclinical stage to clinical trials in humans that lead to marketing authorization. If you would like to gain an understanding of the fundamentals of clinical research please refer to ClinLearn's course on Udemy. Details provided in the notes. The audience for a medical writer typically comprises of experts in a certain therapeutic area. Rather, the medical writer's job is to further the knowledge of a medical expert. In order to stay pertinent and appeal to the intended audience, a medical writer is required to gain a deep understanding of the therapeutic area for which he or she is authoring the documents. There are several open source resources available such as PubMed, Embase. Typically review articles are substantially helpful. Biostatistics is a key component of clinical research. All inferences in clinical trials, such as drug A works better than drug B have to be made using validated and scientifically proven statistical methods. A key component of a medical writer's job is to interpret the statistical results. So at least a basic understanding of statistics is required for a medical writer. This help him in interpreting the results of a clinical trial accurately, avoiding major revisions to the draft prepared. In our previous video we had mentioned that there are multiple types of medical writing. Each type of writing is governed by certain guidelines. Regulatory authorities, such as FDA, and EMA, issue specific guidelines. If you are writing a document, for marketing authorization, then your document should be compliant with these, in content and structure. If you're writing a manuscript, for a peer-reviewed journal, then there are specific guidelines based on the type of manuscript. The next set of skills, we will be discussing, can be termed as soft skills. The first one of them is data organization and data visualization. Let me emphasize, it is the job of a medical writer to improve the readability of a document. So for a medical writer less is more. In a medical writing project you may receive vast amounts of data. It is your job to make it more understandable. As a medical writer you may adopt data visualization techniques, such as creating a graph or a box plot, to convey the results of a trial. You may also organize the essential data into easy to read tables. It will certainly help if you can learn how to create graphs and tables Excel. In a previous slide I said, you will have to gain therapeutic knowledge for medical writing. In addition to this, you may have to develop some literature reviewing techniques, such as identifying certain keywords, developing a search strategy. These days we also have some software tools that search literature for you for specific topics would recommend exploring those. In addition to writing, as a medical writer you may also have to manage the project. When I say managing the project, I mean the timelines, milestones, meetings, follow-ups, etc. Although you may not need a project management tool, a simple Excel with timelines and milestones would serve the purpose. A medical writer is not essentially an expert in the topic she is writing. Also, there might be several things that a medical writer is simply not aware. The medical writer should establish a strong communication channel, to communicate with other stakeholders. These may be clinical scientists, statisticians, study site personnel, regulatory experts, and marketing team. 
And last, but not least, a medical writer should be aware of client SOPs if you are a freelancer or are working for a service provider. If you are working for a company, you should be having a strong understanding of the internal processes. In summary the medical writing profession is an amalgamation of certain specific and generic skills. For a successful career as a medical writer, it is important that these skills are mastered. We hope this video has provided an overview of skills for you to become a medical writer. We will come back with more resources that will help you to become a better medical writer. Until then take care.